Hey artist, I've made a series of three videos to help you to introduce you to oil painting because I know many of you are interested or curious about oil paints but you feel um, either confused or a bit intimidated by this medium. So, um, but it is such a beautiful medium. So my hope is that after these three short and sweet videos, uh, you will feel comfortable and confident enough to go out there and pick up your first um, oil painting set and get started in oil painting. In this first video, I want to show you how to prepare your substrate for oil painting. Basically, most of the substrates that you get from your art supply store will work with oil paint. Stretched canvas, cotton or linen, gesso boards, um, canvas boards, wood panels, they will work, all work with oil paint. And many of the stretched canvas that you got from the art supply store will probably already be pre-primed with double or triple coats of acrylic gesso and that is just fine and you can paint directly on it already but if your substrate is raw cotton or raw linen or you know just wood panel without gesso you would of course need to apply gesso on top and i would rec recommend at least three layers of gesso and you can use a sandpaper to um, sand up the texture a little bit after the second coat and then after the third coat it's up to you whether you want to have a smoother surface or you want to create texture with your gesso and even if you buy cotton canvases they are pre-primed it will still be nice to um, apply another one or two layers of gesso because cotton is quite a thirsty kind of um, surface by just applying another one or two coats of gesso it will just uh, make your paint you know work that much um, you don't need to use as much paint later on. And after the gesso dries, you can just start your painting on a, a white canvas. But sometimes what I prefer to do is kind of give my surface either an off-white or a mid-tone. And you, that's what I'm doing here. That, so this is the first way that I would say tone my canvas or underpaint my canvas. I use very thin, almost fluid paint. It's so fluid that you that you can see that it actually drips. So what the um, medium that I'm using to thin my paint to make it so fluid is actually a solvent. So what I use is the brand Gamblin's um, Odorless Mineral Spirit that is called Gamso. With the Gamso or other Odorless Mineral Spirit that you get, I will always go for the biggest size that I can find because there's so many uses of it, it's essential. So you can use it to underpaint your canvas like what we are doing here and then you can later on you can add a bit of um, gesso to do your sketching to keep your paint really thin for sketching and also you can mix a little bit of gamso with your other medium like an oil or gel kit which we are going to talk about in the next video to make your paint to the consistency that you like and actually serve the technique they are using. And you can tone your canvas right from the beginning before you do any drawings like what we're doing here. And then you wait for that layer of underpainting to dry. In my case, it only took half an hour because I'm in Sydney and it's summer and this paint is really thin. Of course, it depends on the humidity. It might take different times for your first underpainting layer to dry, but generally speaking, it dries pretty fast. So you've seen that we can give a thin layer of mid-tone to a blank canvas. And now we can also tone our canvas after we've done an image transfer. So here is the sketch that I've done on paper. And what I do is just turn the paper over and apply a layer of graphite at the back of the, the drawing. Now we can do the transfer with um, charcoal or graphite but in this case if my plan is to then put a layer of um you know thin paint on top of my image transfer i will always go for graphite instead of charcoal and the reason is if you're doing a charcoal transfer as soon as you apply the odorless mineral spirit on top, it's going to dissolve your charcoal drawing and you're going to lose it. But with graphite, it's more resistant to um, smudging and dissolving by the gamso and your image will still, your transfer will still pick through after you've applied that layer of underpainting. 
the thing to be mindful of is that when you're using graphite in this case, make sure your graphite isn't too dark. Because if the image transfer on your canvas is too dark, um, what might happen? Now this is this hasn't happened to me because I always keep my graphite transfer really light. But I've read in some you know basic oil painting books that if you have a graphite under drawing and the graphite color is really dark, it might surface to the surface paint layer um, over time. So that's what you want to be mindful of to always keep your graphite pretty light. And the next thing you want to do is that you just place your drawing on top of your canvas or your wood panel, whatever substrate that you choose. Make sure that it doesn't move around and then just use a pen to go through your lines. And that way your drawing will be transferred onto your canvas. The next step is to apply a very thin layer of paint on top of your canvas like we did with the first canvas. And again, make sure your paint is very thin with just Gamso. And the color that I am using here is raw amber, which is a very neutral and earthly color that basically serves as underpainting for any kind of subject or style that you will paint on top. Of course, you can exper experiment with other colors as well. Sometimes I add some Indian yellow to my underpainting if I want a warm underpainting and sometimes other times you can add um, ultramarine blue or viridian if you want a cooler underpainting and the key here is just to wait for your underpainting to dry before you proceed. Um, so just a recap in this video we we'll talk about what substrate that you can use for oil painting and how to prepare your substrate for oil painting and how to tone your canvas on a blank canvas and how to tone it after you've done an image transfer and what to use for your image transfer so it does not become dissolved as you apply that underpainting. In the next video, we're going to talk a bit more about the medium, the solvent, the medium that we're going to use, including medium that's going to help you speed up drying time. And also I will show you the paint that I use most often on my palette and how to lay down the palette. So I hope you will join me for the next video and subscribe to my newsletter below in the box below if you haven't already so you know when the video is up. See you!